I think it starts with vision. Anybody can steer the ship, but only a leader can chart the course, right? And so I think it starts with a good vision from a good from a good uh, CEO, and then you have to push that vision through all, all of your employees through a good hiring process, getting the right people on the on what we say, getting the right people on the bus. It has to be genuinely intrinsic, where it's throughout the company, um, from bottom to top, for every process that you do. Otherwise, um, it'll quickly die out. I know what Russell, Russell's vision of the culture is. He, he did, gave it a lot of thought, and he decided that he wanted the culture built on family. So he talked to me one day about, number one, how to make the environment feel like home. And so that's when we've um, implemented uh, the snacks, um, the drinks, the food. Um, his, his, his thought was, you know, when you're at home and you're sitting around watching TV and you're hungry, you get up to the kitchen, you get up to the kitchen and get something to eat, right? So um, he wanted the same thing here. When you're sitting at your desk and you're hungry, you can just get up and go in the kitchen and grab a bite to eat. Um, but more than just the tangible um, things here in the office, I think, um, you know, the events um, that we plan, um, and including family, the wedding uh, celebrations, the uh, baby celebrations, um, the happy hours where we invite family up here, uh, the Thanksgiving luncheon where we embrace not just the Avis family, but the whole family, everyone. You know, our CEO Russell has has done a great job over the years. Of, he has this amazing vision, and not only has he come up with that vision, but he has instilled it in all of the employees in such a way that it is, it's kind of the default mode of everyone. And that's how they actually feel. It's what they're passionate about. And that's really the only way that you can carry that vision out and actually execute it out is to have adopters and believers of the vision. If you don't have a vision for a company, then you end up flip-flopping between you know different goals and that can that can drain on people. Uh, I've seen that in past experiences before. You know, because things like that take time. So if you keep switching it, then you never achieve your vision. But make sure you have the right people. As Russell says on the bus, um, I think another thing is the work environment itself. You know, just adding like around our office, there's color everywhere. And it's not just boring gray cubicles with the fluorescent lights above. So I think that adds a lot of just motivation and, and drive for people to work and be in a better environment. I think one of the, one of the big things here that we, that we try to do is, is be very selective in our hiring process. And it is the best thing in the world to work with people that are capable, that are driven and that can take on a challenge uh, and to work with uh, badasses as we like to call them. Uh, it, it makes it it makes it fantastic to come to work and know that everybody's got your back and that everybody is is striving to get you know, their best done every day.